San Antonio police shoot and kill two suspects in less than 12 hours. The search continues for a San Antonio woman police fear is dead. And early voting is underway for a runoff election for Texas House District 125. This is your Express Briefing podcast for Tuesday, March 5th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. Monday afternoon, San Antonio police officers killed a suspected armed robber after he fired on them from outside a car parked on an east side residential street with a woman and a four-year-old child in the car at the time of the shooting. And less than 12 hours earlier, in a separate incident, officers killed a 27-year-old man who shot at an officer after his parents sought help from the police. The fatal shootings are the third and fourth by the San Antonio Police Department so far this year. On Friday, a man was hospitalized in critical condition after he allegedly pulled a shotgun on a Bear County Sheriff's deputy. 35-year-old Joseph William Willard has been charged with felony evading arrest and attempted capital murder of a police officer. SAPD Chief William McManus says the three officers involved in the department's two latest shootings have been placed on administrative duty during internal investigations, as is standard with officer-involved shootings. The officers have yet to be identified to the public. On January 2nd, a San Antonio police officer shot and killed 33-year-old Aaron Thomas Lambert after Lambert allegedly shocked an officer with his own stun gun. Lambert had a criminal history and was out on bail when officers encountered him. Less than 24 hours later, two San Antonio police officers killed 39-year-old Samuel Garcia, who had been shooting a handgun indiscriminately as he walked south on Pleasanton Road near Harlandale High School. Business owner Andreen McDonald was reported missing by Friends Friday and is presumed dead by law enforcement. Sunday, her husband, Andre McDonald, a major in the Air Force Reserve stationed at Joint Base San Antonio Lackland, was arrested on a charge of tampering with evidence and is a suspect in his wife's disappearance but has yet to be charged with her murder. He remains in jail in lieu of a $2 million bond. Despite Monday's intense cold, some 40 Bear County Sheriff's deputies and volunteers fanned out from a mobile substation set up at the shops on Overlook on Overlook Parkway looking for Andreen. As the woman's husband declined to cooperate about his wife's whereabouts, investigators were forced to make general searches of secluded areas near the family's home in the summit at Canyon Springs, a gated subdivision off Canyon Gulf Road. The searchers moving into nearby ravines, drainage ditches, creek beds, and brushy areas on foot and in trucks and all-terrain vehicles. Searching resumes today at 9 a.m., and Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar says it's likely the search will continue through at least the rest of the week. Andreen and her husband are both from Port Antonio, Jamaica. They married and were living in Florida before her husband's career brought them to San Antonio. Records indicate Andre McDonald divorced his first wife in 2005 in Florida. While a previous magazine profile on the couple and several friends say they love their daughter and seem to be a happy family, court records show Andre McDonald filed for divorce in February 2017, but withdrew the petition three months later. Court documents also show Andreen McDonald told a close friend that if she ever disappeared, it would be because her husband had killed her. And Monday, early voting began in the runoff to decide San Antonio's next representative in the Texas House, with Republican Fred Ronhell and Democrat Ray Lopez vying to represent District 125, which covers a swath of the west and northwest sides. Former State Representative Justin Rodriguez vacated his seat in the Texas House when he accepted an appointment in January to replace the late Paul Elizondo on the Bear County Commissioner's Court. A special election was held February 12th to fill the seat, but none of the five candidates received 50% of the vote, triggering the runoff. Ron Hell was the lone Republican in the race and used consolidated GOP support for a strong first-place finish with nearly 38% of the vote. Lopez ran against three fellow Democrats, earning nearly 19.5% to advance to the runoff. Polls are open today and Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., 
and from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Thursday and Friday. Find more info on the Bear County Election website, bexar.org. And that's your daily San Antonio Express briefing for Tuesday, March 5th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts.